guys. So today is day two. So last night I um, rent, I dumped out the water that uh, the quinoa was soaking in uh, after it stayed for 12 hours. So now it's about 4.45. I was supposed to rinse this twice today. This is my first time rinsing it. So I'm going to rinse it again later on. But um, yeah, I'm just letting it fill up all the way. So I watched a video and this is how they did it. And I can already kind of see like it's sprouting a little bit. Like I see like the threads coming off of the quinoa there. Okay, so we can see that. Hopefully it will be done within the next day or two. Stay tuned for Raw Vegan with Laura. <laughs> okay guys, so I think my quinoa is done. Um, I just unscrewed the cap and took the cheesecloth off. It's all like, kind of like hard and <laughs> crusty. Um, but I, it's been about four days now, um, and I've been rinsing them twice a day, every day, except I missed one day because I was not home at all. But I'm just kind of feeling um, them, and they feel soft. Sorry, don't mind my hands are gross right now. Um, but yeah, they feel like really soft, um, so I think that means they are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so as you know, my raw vegan challenge has come to a close. So today was actually my first day grocery shopping since it's been over. And, um, I mean, I've always made healthy choices while I'm grocery shopping. I mean, obviously with the exception of like some Oreos here and there or, you know, little snacks and stuff. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I got um, post challenge. So yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so this is mostly everything aside from the stuff I've already put away in the fridge and freezer. So we could start here. I got some trail mix. Normally I would get the ones without the M&Ms um, and I would get like the more of like the dried fruit um, ones, but this I'm bringing on a road trip uh, that I am taking with my friend to San Diego. So that's why I got the M&Ms one because he probably would like those better. Um, I got some like power cup things. Um, I have never tried these before, but they seem, they look really good. I, I guess I just like add hot water and then it's like oats, I'm assuming. Um, it has a lot of protein, so that's good. Um, everything bagel seasoning because I put this shit on everything. I got some vegan salad dressing, avocado cilantro. Um, Himalayan pink salt because everybody hypes this up and I guess it's good for you. So I'm going to have to try that instead of like regular salt. Um, I got some memory supplements because I just have been feeling like my memory has been so bad lately. Like truly, I don't know what's going on with me, but um, yeah, I've just been like really foggy brained uh, lately. Um, got some sweetener for my coffee. Um, this I believe is better for you than stevia, um, and like stuff like that. Cause it, this doesn't have like any artificial like ingredients or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I got some coconut milk creamer for my coffee. Also vegan. Some wine because I love my red wine. Um, I love this brand, Melissa's, um, and I have never tried these before, but they look really yummy. Um, they're like little uh, nut bars, balls, I don't know, what, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I got a bunch of different flavors just to try. Um, some oats uh, to make overnight oats with. Um, I mean, obviously I could do anything I want with them, but I really have been loving the overnight oats I've been making with like hemp milk. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try that. 
Uh, I don't know what this is, but I was just so intrigued by it. And I feel like it's probably like a sauce that would go really well on like a, a pasta or something. So yeah, gonna try that um, probably with some noodles. Um, more supplements. So I got lion's mane mushroom because again, I think this improves um, like memory function and it just has a bunch of benefits. Um, and then vitamin D3 because I have been having a lot of endometriosis pain lately and apparently vitamin D3 helps with that. Um, and yeah, I'm women with endometriosis are more likely to be like deficient in vitamin D3. Um, I got some ginger for my tea um, because uh, everybody at my job seems to be getting sick, not with COVID, just like regular colds, but just wanna keep that shit away from me. Um, probably one of the only non-vegan things I got was this goat cheese um, because I, just love my cheese. Um, and I really, really debated this and considered it. I was like, do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. Is it going to make me feel like shit? Probably. But um, yeah, we'll see. When, when I eventually go 100% plant-based, I'm not going to be able to have cheese at all. So let me just enjoy it right now. I got some corn. Um, I like to make a quinoa dish that involves... Uh, canned corn. It's uh, one day I'll do the recipe on a video, but it's basically quinoa, cherry tomatoes, corn, avocado, um, and then just whatever protein you want. If you want chicken or um, anything, beans. Um, I got some little tangerines or mandarins, whatever they're called. Um, I add these into my kale salad usually. Uh, I got some farro. I've never made farro on my own before, but I'm um, gonna try it. It seems like an easy process. It seems like it's made the same way that quinoa is. Um, I got some sesame sticks to also add on to salads because um, I like that crunch. More wine, vino. Um, I got some dates. I don't really like dates alone, but I'm thinking if I chop them up uh, really small and throw them on a salad, that might be really nice. Um, I got some ramen, just something quick that I can eat like if I'm in a rush before work. Um, another power cup, this one is brownie flavored. Uh, got some fruit and nut mix. Um, and Brad's veggie chips. I've had his kale ones before and they're really good, but I had never tried the uh, bell pepper, so I'm excited for that. And last but not least, sunflower nuts uh, to put on my salads also. So yeah, nuts uh, to put on my salads also. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.